and welcome to Around the Peninsula. I'm Mark J. Dottie, and today we're going to take a look at the Artist Studio Gallery, which is a brand new storefront here at the Promenade on the Peninsula. And we're also going to find out about the event on October 5th and 6th, the Artist Studio Tour. Let's go check it out. How does the tour work? Where do they start? And well, uh, on the ticket itself, it shows that uh, everything is laid out. Uh, the most convenient way and they're given a map. It's a self-guided tour and um, it's laid out so it's the most convenient way. And where does it start? It starts at the other gallery uh, at the promenade. The new one? The new prom yes, the, uh, our new gallery in the promenade and um, it follows, it follows uh, eight houses. In the middle uh, you end up at the Palos Verdes Arts Center where we have our lunch that's being catered by the New York Food Company this year on, on the beautiful new patio. And um, it should be very, very nice. Is it the PV Art Center Artist Studio Tour? Well, we're connected with the Art Center, but this is mainly called uh, the Artist Studio Tour, which is um, a, an offshoot of the Palos Verdes Art Center. We're sort of a, a separate group, but connected to. And volunteer based, is that right? Yes, yes, we're all volunteers. Okay. It's a co-op gallery. Right. Which means that everybody has to contribute in order yes. to be a part of it. Yes. Most artists have their wares in a store or at a show or at a gallery. This is one chance where the artists get to feel and hear what the buyers have to say about their work. And this is a chance where they get to hear what they love about their work and also um, maybe what, you know, what they don't like. So this is their only chance where they really get a positive or negative feedback person to person. Yeah. Since for this tour, there, there will be actual artist homes open right. with, um, you'll be able to go in and see people's studios and what they do. Right. And also you'll be able to see how things are made, which people coming on the tour usually don't get to see. All they see is the finished product. Uh, last year, um, we had so many comments from people saying that, oh, I never realized how much work went into that. You know, you never realize all the technical things that you need to know, um, how many processes there are in, in making something. And on this tour, you get to see that. You do get to see all those. Yes, we're encouraging the artists to um, show the different processes and everything. And um, hopefully, that's, that's what will be available. And also, uh, included in the ticket is um, two chances to win a, um, a basket, a gift basket, two baskets worth over $500 each. Yeah, so it's a good deal. You make wearable art, right? I do. And you happen to be wearing a piece here. Could you tell me a little yes. bit? Of I make. This is my. I make collections. So this is part of my whimsical collection. I make these little beads out of shrinky dinks, and I make these are miniature books. And I love the red, white, and black combination. I have this one right here. And then I have this one of the same collection, a lot of beads I make by hand. And I see some peace signs on there. That's my thing peace right sign. there. <laughs> the peace signs, these are made out of felt. And these are um, potpourri little bags. So when you press them, you smell the lavender. Oh, that's So great. yeah, so it's kind of pretty much as playful and you touch them and it has a lot of textures and stuff like that. That's part of my whimsical collection. And how long have you been making these whimsical collections? Well, this one I've been making for like Three months, maybe. This is my newest collection, yeah. But I've been making jewelry since I was little. And then you also have um, some other style jewelry that's yeah. very different than what we yeah, were just talking it's about. Completely different. This is my fret work, and all these pieces I cut by hand with a jeweler saw, and this takes me days and days. <laughs> this is a labor of love because it's like they're all hand cut and it takes me a lot of time. Oh, they're very pretty. So, and then uh, let's see this last one here. Yeah, this one is another one of the fret work, and this one took me maybe like a week and a half to cut by hand. I see patterns. A lot of people think they're laser cut, but they're cut with a jeweler saw. Now, what kind of materials are these? This then? is brass, but I make them in sterling silver too. And, and, and this uh, is Swarovski crystals. 
Leslie, can you tell me about some of the work that you have here? You have a very unique style, and um, it's very yes, colorful. I do a variety of things in fused glass. I also do neon art. The piece I'm holding is a fused glass piece. It's also combined with paint and dichroic glass, which is in there. It takes three firings to do something like that. Um, they're all fired in a kiln, and um, they take some of them take 24 hours to fire and various times like that. Um, they get hot at about um, 1,600 degrees, 1,625, and um, you don't want to play in there when it's like that. <laughs> and you can put that one down. I know it's got some weight to it there. And will your is your home going to be open for the studio tour I'm as well? Be in Gabrielle's house on Via Zamaya. I don't have the address here with me. Um, I also do these fun, funky little pieces. And plus these fun necklaces with faces. Well, tell me about these down here. These are in like planters, and I see some succulents on this. Be one. planted outside in your garden. You just stick them in your garden. And these were made with the wires fused in them. And this one has a pocket, so you can put a plant, you could put a cactus, whatever you want to do. And it's just kind of fun. It'll blow in the wind when the wind blows, and you're outside. And and then I also do these um, handkerchief faces. They're fused flat with the design, and then they're just square. And then I turn them over, they're all flat, put them in the kiln so that they um, slump, and they just fall. They fall like this this face, like a handkerchief. That's great, I like the color on that one. Thanks. It's a lot of vibrancy to it. And, and then you have a, uh-huh. For, for the show, I'm also doing a neon piece combined with the fused glass. And it'll be um, a unique piece that I'm making just for the show and with a hand-blown piece on the front of it. And uh, so that you might want to come and see. Yeah, you understand you also do like neon work neon. and something. It'll be fused glass and neon. It'll be accented with the neon. And then you also have some wearable items. I see as well. Just these necklaces, I'm not, I don't make a lot of jewelry. Just the necklaces, they're fun, they're funky. People seem to like them, so Great. I make these. We're here with Jody Wiggins, who's um, got her painting here. Can you tell me a little bit about what um, media, medium you use? On this particular painting, I used um, acrylic, and then it's also mixed media, so I use a lot of Japanese rice paper. And I paint the paper first, and then I tear it, and I place it. And then I also change these paintings several times, because often at night I like it, and then the next morning I don't, so then they have a lot of layers on them. So. So uh, how long do you take to kind of put something together? And it sounds like it's several days process. You know, it, de it depends on what it is, but sometimes it takes weeks and other times just days. It all depends on feeling and, you know, what I'm doing and colors and lighting and everything because sometimes I put them outside and look at them and they look better in the light versus in the house. So, But I think if anyone wants to paint, they should put a light over it. That's my humble opinion. Okay. And and how long have you been doing this, uh, especially this kind of work? I've been uh, working in the art field since 1996 when I worked with, um, I took a class from Gemma Takagna, and it turned out that my art teacher, uh, her teacher was uh, Marc Chagall, and she worked with Picasso, Kandinsky, and many famous artists of the times. And I learned so much from her, and I learned how Picasso painted with his eyes closed using his opposite hand. So that was really cool, and I really like that. So. And um, during the art studio tour, where will people be able to see your work? The people will be able to see my work in my home. There's going to be eight artists, and I'm one of the artists. And I really, really hope that the people come to the studio home tour, tour, uh, tour this year because the gallery that's down the promenade is brand new, and we're really proud of it. And this gallery is brand new, and there are new homes on the tour, and it's $25.00. That's all it is for two days, 10 locations, 10 artist places to go, and lunch. So I think it's really an excellent deal for everybody, whether they come from near or far. We are here with uh, Joe Davini. And uh, Joe, what would you describe your wood art artist? What, what would be your title? Uh, I'm a wood turner, which means that I make pieces on a lathe. The wood spins and I shape them with chisels. 
Cool, and, and so we have two kind of very dr drastically different examples here. What is yeah. this one that I'm holding? This is uh, what we call a natural edge bowl, which means that the bark edge of the original log has been preserved in the presentation. It's made from a partially decomposed log, which gives it this very rough and interesting texture to it and lots of different colors. Great. And what about this one here that you're holding? Uh, this one is made from recovered redwood, redwood which was cut down in the urban setting from some yard and um, it's uh, a bowl which is made uh, first as a, a single bowl and then it's cut apart and glued together uh, along the edges uh, so that we get this oval shape out of what was originally a round shape. Yeah, it's great and then you've got some other kind of unique ones completely different than these over here. What do we have here? Yes, uh, this one which I call a, a fire plug bowl. It's meant uh, as a kind of a humorous piece which uh, uh, recalls the top end of a fire plug and uh, it's a bowl inside. Okay, and a um, bud vase with a glass container so that you can put a, a bud in it. Uh, this is a vase made of golden locust, uh, so it has that great grain on it. Uh, another bud vase here of carob, another uh, local uh, landscaping tree. And over this one, a bowl made of um, um, black acacia, which is a very nice looking wood and with a, an elaborate finial on it. Which can it's great. All, every, everyone has its own unique look to it. And uh, thank you for taking well, us kind of our tour. Um, will you also have, will you be at the other studio tour? Yes, I will. Uh, I don't have a studio in this part in Palos Verdes, but I will be a guest at Bob Schmidt's studio. He is a sculptor and uh, was a, a, a past uh, physician in this area. And his house has a fantastic view, if I recall. Yes, that's right. It's a wonderful place. All right, Don, why don't we start by, if you can tell me about this new location here at the mall and what it's called and how long you've been here. We're very excited about this new location at 159 in the Promenade Mall. Uh, we're very excited about how many people are dropping by. We have some terrific artists here, some new artists that we haven't had before that have wanted to be part of our group. So I hope you drop by. Where are you in the mall? What, what are you near? We're where Cold Stones used to be. We're right near the fountain. You can see us from the fountain. We're just down from the fountain in 159. And we have a sign over our door, and you'll see us. Uh, if you uh, get to the fountain, you'll find us. I'm a plein air painter, so I have a couple paintings behind me that are examples of my work. Uh, one of them is of the sea cave at Terranea, and the other is of the Sierra, High Sierra uh, with Alpenglow. But uh, we have a terrific group of artists here of uh, ceramics, uh, glass, uh, sculpture, uh, all sorts of different styles of painting and uh, woodworking. And so we really hope that you'll come by and see some of these beautiful pieces that we have. We, have a, we change every month. We'll have a whole new show coming soon. So please come by and, and check us out because I think you'll find the perfect gift for the holidays. And you're open uh, general mall times? Or? Okay, we're open from 11 to 8 every day, except for Sunday when we're open from 12 to 8. Okay, and then, and of course, people will be able to come in if they go to the Artist Studio Tour, they can come here. This will be a very important part of the Artist Studio Tour because if you come here, there'll be a gift basket, that you, a raffle that's worth over $500. And we really hope you'll come by and see, see us here. We also have terrific wearable art that's up at the other studio, but also will be on the studio tour. A lot of people wear our beautiful clothing of our artists. And so we hope you'll check that out too, because they're really some very unique pieces. Will your house be open this year? <laughs> my, my, my studio is in my barn. And uh, the show will be in the barn and also in the corral. And I'll have a lot of different things that are plein air paintings from all around. And I just took a trip up the coast to the Big Sur area. And so I have about five or six uh, major paintings of the Big Sur area. If that, it's one of the most beautiful spots in the world. So I, I, I tried to capture it with, with my oils. And I'll, I'll have, I'll have my, my, my uh, palette out and my, uh, and my uh, easel and, and show people how and what, what, what paints I use and why and the brushes and all the different tricks that I use to uh, try to capture the beautiful plain air views we have around here. And I definitely suggest make time to go to Don's place. I've been there and um, he has all his work out and yeah, you, you, we get to see this very unique barn right here in PV. It's awesome. 
Well, thank you very much, Mark. Thank you, everybody. Okay, we're back here with Linda as we're closing out. She said that she's got a couple artists here at the uh, studio gallery that um, will have their homes open as well. Yes, yes. Sure. Uh, Margaret Moore, who is a wonderful watercolorist. This is her work here. And um, she will also have her home on the tour. She has been on uh, before, but not for several years, and people love her home. It's beautiful. In fact, she even uh, sometimes uh, has weddings there. So and we have some of the other ones here too, right? Okay, right down, right here, uh, this one, Joy Gonzalez, this and the, this one also. She will be at Bob Schmidt's house. This is Annie Cavell's work. Um, she will also be at Margaret Moore's house. In fact, she even uh, has uh, her own gallery down in Long Beach, which she will love to hear about that. And um, we have another one here that's going to have their house open, right? What's her name? Yes, Jean Zasky. Her beautiful home is also going to be on the tour. So remember, if you want to get tickets, you can go to www.artist-studio pvac.com or call 310-265-2592. And I hope to see you there.